Welcome to Freeze Drying Alberta. We are testing out a whole bunch of different foods on a home freeze dryer, which for those of you that don't know, it is a new way to preserve food that can last up to 25 years. So we're gonna be testing out what works, what doesn't, things you might wanna try, and uh, let's get started. Today we are going to be doing lemon yogurt. So let's get to it. Strawberry, I believe, rhubarb yogurt, and some lemon yogurt. And how did these turn out? What do they look oh, like? careful. You'd be very they're careful. Very, they're very uh, you just pick brittle. One. Here's the lemon. Again, these were put into our Harvest Right silicone oh, cubes and then freeze dried. <laughs> and then freeze dried in the cubes. So that's why they're square. And they were pre frozen before they went in because we put them in with ice cream sandwiches. So. And, they're, and they and they turned out very interesting. I think some of the textures probably from the freezing, the initial freezing. Yeah, that's what I wonder. Um, I mean, you would have that most cases with a freeze dryer anyway, because it freezes things down to negative mm -hmm. 40, then does a vacuum suction to pull all the moisture out. Mm -hmm. But they have a very interesting, very brittle mm -hmm. texture. Very brittle. Um, almost little layers of, um, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, like, yeah, just like layers of very of thin paper, yeah, kind of separated. Um, it's very interesting. You guys are eating them, and I can smell. I can smell them. You can them. smell it. Yeah. So these They're ones are, are strawberry rhubarb. Rhubarb, I think. I think they have rhubarb in there. Definitely strawberry, but. Um, they're interesting because I would say they're very um, dry, and then um, mm -hmm. they're very dry for quite a while, and then they go to a more. Uh, more almost kind of yogurty. Yeah, they kind of turn into a yogurt in your mouth. You don't want it anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Trevlin's not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. They're very like it turns into kind of a very thick yogurt paste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're too big. Like it, it would have been better if they were. If they're more of a yogurt drop, might be better. Maybe a drop. Mm -hmm. Actually, in this case, I feel like smaller is better. Because mm -hmm. they taste good. And the texture's fun. Mm -hmm. I think if you did them smaller and didn't yeah. pre-freeze them. And didn't pre-freeze them? I'd be them? curious yeah. to try that. Can I try a lemon one? And I actually like the lemon better, I think. But yeah. Are you eating a lemon one now? Do you mm -hmm. like a lemon one? Do you need some water? And I do feel like with these yogurts, I must need some water to like wash it down. Mm-hmm. Especially after that rhubarb one. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because they're crunchy, but it's not in the same way of foam. Like the foamy I'm, ones, the ones that bubble. Like I'm it's very different texture. I'm definitely more a fan of the ice cream. How the ice cream is in your mouth, how it melts. Like I feel like uh, whipped cream drops. Mm. But I definitely say the jello mm. is the most powerful flavor. Yeah. And I would say so far the ice cream sandwich is the best mm. overall. Texture. Yeah. Mm. Which isn't too surprising that yeah. ice cream wins over applesauce but um so right. we got one more to try here anya what are we trying next time we're gonna try cheesecake freeze-dried cheesecake this video right here you can watch that next